Hey everyone, Matt here again, Home Farm Ideas, and today I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the articles section. Show you how to post articles and attach photos. Uh, but first, let's go down to the recent articles area, and this is on the main page uh, of our front page of our website. And basically, every time someone submits a new article, it will be placed within this uh, five, these first five uh, article sections. And um, it'll show you basically your article, how many people have looked at it, and then also it'll show you the person that wrote the article here. So if you have questions, you can click on there and go to their profile and send them a private message. Um, anytime someone comments on your article, it will also bump your article to the top again. Uh, so that's it for that. Just I re <laughs> do not do not post on your own article and say things like bump to bump your article. Um, this section let people basically comment on your um, on your article. And trust me, I'm saying that to everyone. I know a lot of you won't do that, but there's some people that will, and it will cause a problem. Um, people will be doing it like crazy um, when we start getting busy around here, I'm sure. Um, but let's go to the article section. And basically, I wanted to go over um, a rough draft of basically what this this area covers. Um, so we have main categories. We have gardening, chickens, aquaponics, the food, like recipes and stuff, uh, and how to make different kinds of food, homemade. Um, or this area is basically more for, for making food and, um, and storing it and all that. And homemade is basically for how to make the food, like how to make cheeses or uh, whatever else is in here. Body care, candle making, uh, cleaning products, um, basically stuff that you would make at home, pottery, um, and then this is for like canning and baking and all that stuff. Aquaponics, basically uh, how to how the whole process works and all that. And if you have any knowledge on it, obviously drop it on some of us by writing some articles for this section. Chickens, I'm um, I'm gonna be changing this eventually because I know a lot of our members have chickens, but a lot of our members also have goats and. Uh, pigs and stuff like that and cattle and uh, so I didn't know it was going to be that broad um, but basically I'm going to eventually change this to livestock so that we can cover all of our animals rabbits all that stuff I have a rabbit so I, I don't know why I didn't think of that but um, it takes a lot of work so give me time on that you guys um, gardening section so let's just go over this one so basically this one like when you click on the main category, you have these subcategories of gardening. Okay, so starting a garden, composting, you know, fertilizer, and all that stuff. Well, all these different areas um, have some commentary here, and read through that. But then also, there's this area that's uh, bolded here. It says this area covers, and basically this area is going to cover um, whatever uh, whatever this says here. Um, you can you can suggest uh, categories for this section by clicking here and then if you scroll down a little more you can actually uh, create articles uh, clicking on this button and when you uh, create an article and it is reviewed and it is approved it will show up down here uh, this particular article area is for beneficial bugs and so I wrote uh, all these uh, on another website and I switched them over to here um, but basically, uh, you would be able to select the category that you want your article to be created under. So create, let's go ahead and create an article. Okay, and then you wanted to um, say something catchy, you know. We'll do the check out my chicks again. Because I'm going to use those same chicken photos. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and uh, we'll put this in the chicken area and egg and chick care. Okay. Now you wouldn't normally want to just share your chickens here, but um, I'm only doing this for uh, purposes of showing you how this works. You can toggle the editor to um, uh, HTML, which if you know how to use HTML and, and uh, stuff, you can use that here. I do. Uh, and so I can do that, um, like if I wanted to make something bold. So, hello world. 
Uh, let's say I wanted to make that bold in here. I can do that by doing an open bold. Sorry, let me put my keyboard here. And a closing bold. Okay, and then toggle the editor back, and that hello world will be bold. Now, if you wanted to just bold it, uh, the, the easy way you do it on here. Okay, so, um, and then let's type out, you are my chicken. And, uh, oops. Okay. Now, let's add some images. Oh, you know what? But first, this area right here, if you want to know what all these buttons do, just mouse over them. Okay? And, uh, you know, bold, obviously, italicize. Just mouse over them, and then you can uh, read what it says underneath indent. Um, but right now, we're going to insert images, and this is how you would edit images and insert them. Okay, so we have set up photos already, but let's upload one more to this main folder. Uh, let's go back to the root folder, though. Okay, so this is the root folder. I called this folder Ticks, and now uh, I'm going to show you how you can. I uploaded all these, but basically this is how you do it. You come over here to upload, and then you browse, or you can drag them straight from your desktop over into here, and then let's find. Uh, the same three photos, so I'm going to upload them again. So in order to select multiple files in this one, you can basically click on one and then hold the control button down and then select all the images that you want to upload and then uh, upload them just simply by hitting upload. I'm going to cancel out of that because I already did that. Okay, so now we want to add uh, one of these chicken chick photos to the actual article itself. So uh, this is the preview area. So let's say you wanted this image to show up to the right of any text type out. You just select right in here. And then now you can hit insert. Now the files are usually big, so you basically click on it and then drag the corner down to a, a manageable size of your liking. Okay. Then to get some little text wrap going on. Um, I'm basically just going to go ahead and copy and paste this over and over again. So as you're typing out your article, you're filling in these gaps and it'll wrap around the image. Okay, so let's say we wanted to add one more. We would go ahead and click there again. Select one of the other images. So, okay, let's try. Let's try this. Now we already did that one. Okay, this. One. Okay, so let's say we wanted to seat this image to the left. We would select left, and then we would go ahead and insert that as well. Uh, one more thing um, in this folder, uh, you want to kind of name, because this is the uh, main kit, main, you like your root name, or your main root. Um, as you start to add articles, you want to basically name them and keep them organized. Okay, so that you can always come back and change things and keep all your photos and everything organized in each article that you're posting. So let's go ahead and insert this image to the left. Okay, and again, it's going to be a bigger file. You just basically pick it and drag that down. Then you can add more um, commentary here on the side and have it wrap. Okay, and that's how you would basically type out an article and add images. If you have any questions on that, you can always contact me on here. My username is hfi underscore matt m a t t. And then uh, after you're all done doing your article, you would hit submit or save, and it would submit it. I'm going to cancel out, though, because I don't need to do this. So that is the article section. Um, let me see if I missed anything. I don't think I did, but 
everything looks like I covered everything. If you have any questions, like I said, uh, feel free to private message me. And I look forward to hearing any of your questions or comments. And uh, yeah, thanks. Uh, have a great night, you guys, and peace.